Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. With so many images demanding attention these days, an effective visual has to really impress on a creative, perceptual, or narrative level. This activist image stands out on all three. This photo was taken by Suzanne Plunkett for Greenpeace. As part of their Protect the Oceans campaign, Greenpeace dropped boulders into the North Sea to keep super trawlers from destructive fishing in marine protected areas. Bottom trawling in a marine protected area has been likened to bulldozing a national park. I love how this photo just hits you, well, like a rock, (laughs) with its incongruity. The first thing you see when you look at this picture is... What is this big rock doing out in the ocean, and why is it floating in the air? NGO photos have different intentions than news images. They are about arresting attention and creating impact. In the case of environmental activism, they also deal with life out of time and man defying the laws of science and nature. I don't know how this photo could have done a better job of that. By stopping time, the photo makes the act more literal, more notable, and more significant, especially with the British marine management ship keeping tabs in the background. It really is all about the timing, what Cartier-Bresson famously called the decisive moment. And the photographers talked about how she worked to get the timing and the lighting right so that as she photographed these boulders, she could get the boulder and the ship off in the distance all together in the frame at the same moment that the rock was falling. What I love about that emphasis of timing, getting it all in the frame, is that the falling rock is only powerful because it's frozen in time. It's a literal demonstration of gravity. We know that rock is going somewhere and it's going down. But there's also this kind of symbolism of gravity here. That the photo has really been created to invite us to think about the gravity of the situation that Greenpeace is trying to address. And that situation is overfishing and industrial damage to protected marine areas. So if this photograph didn't capture that heavy boulder in the frame and didn't produce that incongruity, it would be a lot harder for Greenpeace to have a visual impact on a viewer. It really is wonderful to think about not just the work, but the luck involved in this. I think that Suzanne had 12 chances to photograph this rock, which is dropped from a height above the viewing area here. And to catch it in the air just so is really a feat. And then I believe that the British ship also is kind of in and out over the course of the day. So to also catch the other ship and then have this kind of composition is really something special. We never look at activist images. We always look at news photography. So, you know, they have an agenda here. And a lot of it is to bring attention to what they're doing as much as it is to justify the cause, which is to defend this protected fishing area. And when you do this kind of Magritte meets Stonehenge kind of thing in a photograph, you really accomplish your mission. 